All right, guys, back with another video here, and we're going to talk about another attack that's going to result from good mount control. All right, so we'll be transitioning to the taking the back, but we're going to show you guys specifically how to take the back in the next video. Right now, we want to introduce the rear naked choke or the rear naked strangle, whatever you want to call it. Um, so why don't you choke me first? So what do we have going on here, guys? You can see it's a super effective choke. So I'm gonna have Ty sit, sit for me. So we're gonna talk about this. We have what's called a strong side and a weak side on this choke, and we're gonna we're gonna get more into that. But the, the application of this choke, this arm is snaking all the way down his chest and around until my armpit is resting on his shoulder. That will effectively line up my elbow with his chin. I don't want to be here, elbow on his shoulder, nice V wrapping his neck. My hand slides over with my fist going behind my head. No, I'm sorry, behind his head. Wrap the bicep. Now, there's a few things going on here. I'm going to try to touch my elbows together. I'm going to take a deep breath to hug Tyler in, and I'm going to do an ab crunch forward. All of those mechanisms are going to work like a triangle and a vice and just Boom, shut off that blood flow. So the snake goes around the chest until my armpit is on his shoulder. Right there, the snake bites the apple, which is my bicep, the snake bites the apple. My fist goes behind the head. Now I like to do that as a direct shot. I don't like doing this, because he might get control over my arm. So I just direct shot this fist behind his head as my, the snake bites my apple. I'm gonna pinch my elbows together, take a deep breath, and I'm gonna ab crunch and it's immediate, all right? Now, with regards to the rear naked choke, and again, we're gonna talk about how we got here in a second, but we have what's called a strong side and a weak side. The strong side is the arm that is over the shoulder. The weak side is the arm that is under the armpit. The weak side always protects the strong side. Strong, weak, weak protects the strong. That could change, strong, Weak, weak protects the strong. So when we take the back, you don't think left or right. You're gonna think strong side or weak side, all right? You're never going to choke somebody just like this, sitting just like this. They are always going to be on your strong side or your weak side, and on some occasions, face down, belly down, which you won't really have to worry about. But let's talk about strong side, weak side. So let's turn that like that. All right, so we're here. We'll go strong side first. Strong side, again, the one that's over the shoulder. The weak side is protecting the strong by holding onto my wristwatch and keeping everything very, very tight. And we fall to the strong side. Bang. I'm going to grab his watch, pushing it down for two reasons. One, this is the hand that's going to effectively defend any choke. He's going to be able to leverage this hand. So I want to remove that. Two, in a real fight, this hand could be gouging my eyes or punching me in the nose or teeth or whatever. So I want to remove that. Just grab it, push it down to his belly. Put my armpit on top of his shoulder, wrap his neck. And now I like to hold his shoulder. I always do my, my choke in a, in a three-step process. So right here, I'm already starting to squeeze just to kind of get compliance. I'm not squeezing it 100%. Because again, this might just be like drunk Uncle Joe at a party and I just gotta talk him down. You know, he's had too many Budweiser's and I just gotta talk Uncle Joe down. I don't wanna put him unconscious. This is very effective for doing that. All right, he knows he's in trouble right now. Step two for me is I'll always retract this hand and grab palm on palm and tighten this up. So if there was any space in there, you see Tyler's hands came up. He was ready to tap. So right here, he's already starting to strangle. If I just push my elbow into his back and make a muscle with this arm, he's, I'm going to get the tap. Step three, he's not tapping from that. Maybe he's got his fingers in. Now I wash my hands. I shoot my palm over my knuckles. My fist goes behind his head and I apply the choke the same exact way we just did. So strong side choke, kill the watch, wrap the neck exactly like we showed you. 
hug his shoulder and start to apply pressure just by making a muscle and pushing my head into his head. All right, you might get a tap there. Come out, palm on palm. Wave hello, slap your palms together. It's called a gable grip. Drag this in deep, putting your elbow behind and starting to squeeze already. Going to get a tap there. If he still has some wiggle room in there, your palm goes over your knuckles, slipping in behind his head. Now squeeze the elbows, take a deep breath, and ab crunch. Anything from the strong side I'm forgetting there? Mm -hmm. Anything good, tight? Yeah. Now let's talk about it from the weak side. Okay, with the weak side, we have to do one more step. We'll have to just stay here. All right? So from the weak side, we have to do an extra step. All right, so we're here. Weak side is protecting the strong side, but this time he falls onto the weak side. All right, so there's a few extra steps we have to talk about here. Now, could Tyler and I wrap the neck here and choke you? Probably, we, we have a lot of experience with doing this. But as a beginner, this is difficult because the water is falling out of the glass, right? This glass here is upside down, the water's falling out of it. So there's a lot of strength involved in choking somebody like this. A lot can go wrong. All right, so the black belts, we can generally make somebody tap, even though we're upside down, but we want you guys to be able to do this correctly. So what we need to do is replace, make the strong from the weak. So my strong hand is going to grab his shoulder, and I'm going to lift him with my hand and my head. The weak hand now shoots in and becomes the strong hand. With this, I don't worry about his hand anymore. I go direct shot to that gable grip that I just talked about. I pull it nice and tight, and then I wash my hands, and I get the choke. All the steps are the same. I don't want to keep reiterating it. You can, you can go back and, and watch the steps. So the weak protects the strong. All right, Tyler and I as black belts, we could, we could tap you this way, but we want you guys to develop a good foundation. So the strong grabs the shoulder. I use this hook and my head, and a little bit of this foot down here even, just to lift you up and bring the weak hand out to slide in to replace it. Now I go gable grip, I pull this super tight. Even if he's fighting it now, I simply wash the back of my hands and I apply the choke. Weak side choke. What do we need to add in for our strong side, weak side, rear neck? It's nothing, that's easy, anything, right? Nah. Super simple, probably the, the king of all chokes, Mate, Mate Leon. Um, I don't think there's a more effective submission out there than, than the rear naked choke. There's a beauty in simplicity. There is for sure. So in the next video, we'll show you guys how to take the back, how the weak side and strong side will result from taking the back from the mount. But we just want to introduce you to the rear naked choke so we can start to tie everything together in a neat little bowl for you guys.